What up, Home Slices? How you doing today? We're going to be playing Kingdom Rush Origin, the second level in this one. This is Blood Quarry. Um, normal mode. And I'm going to be using a different hero than normal. I'm going to be using Katha instead of this uh, Raz and Rags guy. I know I'm, I'm trying to use the free hero so people can beat this without having to spend any money if they so desired. And again, if you're playing on casual, this will, this will make this walkthrough even easier for you because uh, you need to play casual before you can get to normal. Alright, so the main thing you want to notice is that the first level is not going to be that bad. It's going to be really, really easy, but the second level is going to be straight up evil. It's going to be not fun. Not, not fun at all. So we're going to get a couple mage towers in here. We're going to get one there, one there, and one here, and we're going to get a barracks. Upgrade this crap a little bit, and let's get started. So the main thing you're going to notice is that we're going to kill all these guys right at the very beginning. Get them going. Hopefully she can get her little warriors out there. The warriors will kill everybody and uh, stall them and, you know, keep them all kind of situated in the front there. But what you want to do is you actually want to save your lightning. This is this is one of those ones where the uh, waves in the beginning here don't have a big uh, time in between them. So instead of using your lightning right away and having it get back by the time you actually need it, you might just be better off waiting. Wait until you actually need the lightning. If you use it during the middle of the wave, maybe you can use it every other wave or something like that. So you're noticing we killed all these guys fairly easily. Boom shakalaka. We took them all down. It's exactly what we want to see, exactly what we want to do. There's also a couple random guys kind of flowing out here in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, it happens. Reavers and Burners coming out the right, and then a bunch of Perthions coming out the top. So this is where you need your lightning, guys. Use your lightning right here on these guys, and this big bad boy black guy right here is gonna, with the giant afro is going to be on our team. Incoming. Also, put Katha in the back. Yeah, the back. We'll put all these stupid guys to sleep because they're evil. Wait, where's why the heck is Katha not down there? Get Katha down there before things go to poop. There's a lot of guys sneaking through down there. I needed Katha down there just a little bit earlier. I thought I pressed her down there, but I guess not. And what that means for us is we're going to have a little bit of issues in the beginning here, but you don't want to spend too much money down here because the next wave is going to be fairly difficult. Um, so we're going to go with the uh, next wave. I'm just going to put these guys over here. We're going to go on to the next wave. It's hammer time. All right. Here I come to save the day. Taking these guys down, but again, you want to start preparing for the next wave instead of just this, this wave. Put all your reinforcements down there. Let them throw things at these Perthions to start doing some extra damage to them. Let the magic towers finish them off. And now you want to get your barracks here and your barracks over yonder. Put your barracks people kind of in the range of this mage tower. You want to make sure that uh, all of your mage towers are hopefully attacking these guys, so you can actually put your barracks guys a little bit farther forward. Two mage towers over here. And we'll put all these bad boys to sleep really quick. Keep them all busy. Put Katha a little Let's bit further back. Hopefully I don't need a lightning, but I might need to. Yeah, we're going to need a lightning. Alright, that's fine. We lightning really quick. We took these guys down, but that means this next wave is going to be a little bit tougher for us. Alright, so Katha is going to move down here. And this guy, yeah, Malik, is going to move over yonder. Hopefully he heals up as well. So what I like to do is I like to try and put my reinforcements behind barracks, guys, because they seem to do more damage. just seems that way. It's kind of nice when they do that. There's a big chunk of guys right here. Hopefully our mage mag towers can take them down quick enough. And seemingly, yes, yeah, so we'll move her back onto the left side. So all of our upgrades need to be on these mage towers for now. Usually what I do is I try and put my reinforcements on the opposite side of Cat. Katha usually can take care of herself, building warriors and stuff like that, so we build the reinforcements usually on the opposite side of her, depending if there's a billion guys somewhere or something like that. And it looks like we are going to take down this wave. Not easily, but but we did. We took him down. Incoming! Hmm. So what do we got coming out next? We got some Perthions, and we got some Eatons. Oh, no, that ain't good. Eatons already? So you're noticing I'm using all Mage Towers right now. All Mage Towers. It's kind of ridiculous, right? A little bit. I'll admit it. It's a little bit ridiculous. We're going to put this guy over here. And the main thing you want to do is you want to actually get the Eatons as close as possible to all of your Mage Towers. Hopefully we can actually kind of slow them down, let everybody else get killed, and then the Eatons can come, come in here all at once and get killed. I'm kind of upset by that. That stupid Perthion had one health left and run, ran right through my defense. That's so evil. So evil. And look at that. We already got... Um... Well, let's try and get these three Eatons all lined up right here. Incoming. Nope, there they are all lined up. No, no, not really. They kind of got warped or something. We're going to do a big chunk of damage to them, but they do heal up pretty quick, so you got to be careful. And we got a bunch of stuff coming out next, and that's where the Archer Towers are going to come into play. Get all these guys up to Archer Towers. This guy is actually going to be the highest level Archer Tower, and we're going to move Kath up to the front because we want to kill 
these ogre magi, actually. These, these ogre magi are pretty evil. You want to take those guys down as quickly as possible, or at least keep them stunned or something. I don't know. I think you're going to need a light and kill those guys. So try and keep them busy with Cath or whatever. Malik is going to die in the bottom. These Eatons are kind of hard to kill, obviously. In the early game here, we even lightning them, and there's still three Eatons left. What's up with that, man? We're going to need to use our lightning pretty quick. Sleep fine. And you know what? Screw it. Let's move Katha down by these Eaton so they don't end up running through our defense. I know there's a few of them left and they're put to sleep and everything, but they can get quite evil quite quickly. So it looks like we are going to need to lightning these Eatons. And we are going to kill them, but we need to keep these random Magi guys in the range of my Archer Towers. Otherwise, they will be straight up evil. And we'll send up this next wave. So, yeah. Alright, keep them in the range of the Archer Towers. It's working out alright. Oh no, we lost another life! Stupid guys! So, if we lose one more life, we're not going to get three stars. But we will not lose any more lives, obviously. We get some more Archer Towers, get some more Golden Archers, in fact. That'll help us out a bunch. Actually, I think what we're going to do is get this everybody up to Golden Archers, except for this guy is going to be an Arcane Archer to help deal with these uh, Ogre Magi. And, um, if we can get all these... these uh, these guys lined up. Hopefully, I can lightning them. Get them all lightning right in this little corner right here. And we do get a nice lightning on them. Hopefully, it takes them down. Otherwise, they're going to start regenerating their health. Oh no, Malik died again. All right, screw it. We're going to need to get the arcane archer over here. We're going to get a sentinel on top of it. Why not? And we'll send up this next wave. That'll take down these ogres pretty quick, or these Eatons pretty quick. But we're already starting to get some blood ogres coming out, and that means we're going to need to get uh, a lot more archer tower upgrades. <clears throat> uh, so I never really explained those ogre magi guys. They're they're even more evil than these blood ogres. Actually, they regenerate health extremely quickly, like way faster than Etans, and they have high magic resistance. So the only way to kill them is with a lot of arch towers or lightning. The lightning does do a pretty big chunk of damage to them. And it usually takes them down pretty quick. So, um. On that note, Reinforce. get some more archer towers. Get all of our archer towers upgraded. Obviously, uh, once you get once you get set up, the game becomes a lot easier. This is where the game starts to become. Uh, it starts to go from oh my god, there's so many guys coming so many different ways to holy crap, we got our stuff all set up. Oh man, look at that. See that stuff? It's, it's like randomness. Sometimes you get really really unlucky. Sometimes you get lucky. These are uh, red crystals. Sometimes they warp people forward. Sometimes they kill them, sometimes they make a lot of blood knolls, it's just like kind of randomized. Alright, so this guy's going to end up being an arcane archer, again to deal with those uh, ogre magi. Which there's going to be none of them coming out this wave, that makes me happy. So what I have not been doing is I have not been using Malak enough. Let's use Malak up in the front here. He needs to go up to level, he needs to go up to level 10 for sure. So by the time we get to wave 15 or so, he'll be good. Be absolutely good. Man, oh man, I don't know why I'm so hungry. I really have no freaking idea why I'm so hungry. Some more Perthions, we're gonna have to put them all to sleep. And it looks like more reinforcements are required. Again, Perthions being straight up evil right now. It's nearly. Imp oh, you know what? I think the best thing for me to do would be to get a third tier barracks tower for these Perthions. It's probably the best thing to do because those guys can uh, shoot one last little arrow in them before they end up getting through. So let's get them all up to third tier, actually, just to deal with these Perthions a lot easier. Because there's so many of them. Honestly, there's just like billions of them. Oh, they're warping forward and everything. Goodness gracious, so there we go. This one's almost up to third tier as well. I know it's a lot of money, but I still think it's well worth it to keep that last light that we really need um, to get these three stars. Okay, so Malik has been dying a lot lately. I remember when I when I played this the first time, I don't remember him dying at all. <laughs> I don't know if it's just that I've been in a bad spot or what he's been doing. It doesn't seem like he's been dying. I guess it's probably the rocks falling on him or something. Probably. I'm starting to get a lot more money. So let's go. Let's go for the golden archers first. We're gonna get all of these guys up to golden archers before I start going crazy with all my ma with all my uh, magic towers, which I will be doing by the way. So we've got Eaton's and the Ogre Magi. We've got three of them. Three of these crazy guys coming out. 
So let's see, let's try and keep Cantha over here, keep them all kind of occupied in the range of all my towers. We'll also put Malak over there as well. Again, keep them there, man. Keep them all right there. And as you can see, we are doing damage to him. It just takes forever. Look at the, the heal back on that. It's, it's pretty crazy. With all these towers attacking him, he's still healing up pretty easily. Oh, man, look at all these random blood gnolls on the right there. I don't know if you guys were noticing that at all. So luckily, we're going to get everybody kind of piled up in one spot right here, and we are going to lightning. Look at that ridiculousness. Lightning him didn't kill him, which is kind of sad, because we're going to heal up pretty quick if I don't uh, do some quick damage to him. But it looks like we are going to be able to kill him, and um, we get a crap load of money from those guys now. What are we going to do with all this money? I'm starting to think about hey, Arcane Sentinels. Get a bunch of Elven Mages with Arcane Sentinels. Um... You know what I'm not going to do? I'm not going to set out the next wave early, because I really want to make sure these these Ettons are defeated before that happens. And, you know what? I feel safe now. Only one left, and he's just about dead, so we'll take him down before anything goes crazy. Alright, so here's where these uh, Blood Ogres seem to be the biggest problem, is when you have Blood Ogres coming out with a bunch of random normal guys, like Blood Gnolls, and or just regular Gnolls and stuff like that. So we'll turn all these guys into Blood Gnolls. Like this, like this ridiculous night right there. So we're gonna put them all to sleep. Hopefully, take them down before they become any any sort of issues. Also, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start getting my hunters mark, three hunters marks already. And I still need to get those elven mages going as well. All of these sentinels. All right, all right. Things are going smoothly. Except for the fact that this freaking guy is sneaking through. So now that these guys snuck through my first defense, <laughs> which was hopefully going to keep them at bay, now I'm fighting a lot of these guys with magic towers, which isn't the worst thing in the entire world, because they only have ma medium magic resistance, but it's definitely not exactly a good thing, because uh, uh, all you need is a little bit, of, little bit of action going on there, and they can easily sneak through some more Eatons and flying guys, Pertheons, and stuff like that. Pertheons shouldn't be that big of a deal anymore. Um, they're more of a deal right in the beginning of the game because you have to kill them all the way in the back because that's where most of your defense is because you obviously need to defend you near know, the back in the very beginning of the game. But now, now, they won't be so evil. We'll get another Hunter's Mark as well. So the, basically what that does is against these really, really strong guys like Eatons and stuff like that, it's really going to help us out a, a tremendous amount compared to, I don't know, so here, we're going to put these guys to sleep really quick, and uh, all of my resources will basically go, go towards the guys on the right side here, because they're kind of far back. I want to make sure I take them down kind of quick. So there's another Arcane Sentinel, and another Elven Mage. You're noticing that we don't need quite as much micro anymore. It's just kind of like, ah, oh, you know what, everything's getting taken care of pretty easily. We can even lightning four eggs on this side, and I will send out the next wave. Pretty, pretty big chunk of damage to him. Not billions of damage, but hey, I'll take it. I'll take it any day of the week. So, oh, no, we got to make sure we take... Oh, there's a big mix of guys right there. Take them down. Get Malik and everybody over in that little corner going. And, uh, Elven Mages up the wazoo. Get them everywhere. Every single Mage Tower that you have up to an Elven Mage. You're gonna get all 4th tier towers, by the way, and you're gonna get a lot of 4th tier upgrades on top of those 4th tier towers. So there's a lot of guys built up right here. It might seem kind of dangerous and crazy, but it's really not gonna be that bad, because we got, uh, so much damage right in that area right there. We got 4 Golden Archers, this guy also attacking them, and you're gonna get some Elven Mages randomly sending over some Sentinels to kill them as well. So it's really not that bad. And let's keep on getting Sentinels. Get one there, one there, one there. I like to get one before I go up to two. I don't know why. I don't think it really makes a big difference, but for most fourth tier towers, it usually does matter. Usually, you want to get all of them up to first tier before you start going up to a bunch of second tiers, and I just don't like to make that mistake. So, everybody died, actually. Wow, that's kind of surprising. I am a bit surprised by that. I'll lightning them. We got a big chunk of them, and we're going to send them this next wave. Send it out. There we go. Get him out of the way. Make sure he doesn't die. He is up to level 9. Just pretty close to level 10. I can't complain about that. And we're going to get some more Sentinels. Oh, yeah. We'll get them all up to freaking Sentinels. Oh, my God. Look at all these Sentinels everywhere. It's amazing. 
We got the Sentinels flying all over the place, killing everybody. But we got a bunch of Blood Nobles coming out, pretty much everywhere. But again, the Sentinels will take them all down. I think the best thing for me to do is to make sure that I don't lose that last life. So the best way to make sure that I don't lose that last life is to get some Blade Singers. The Blade Singers will defend no matter what. I have never, I've almost never seen them die. It's usually if more than three guys end up getting over there, but I almost never ever see them die. Derp, 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 derp. Oh, looks like we're gonna have to put these guys to sleep as well. There's a lot of them, but as you can see, they're getting taken down pretty quick. It's just that one big rush all at once that really makes the big, uh, big problems for us. And, uh, sentinels everywhere. I love them. I love them, guys. They do damage everywhere. That's why they're so amazing. And it looks like we're just seeing a lightning these guys really quick, and I think that's probably the end. Seems like that was actually a pretty fast wave compared to normal. It was just kind of hard because all the blood nose. They really wanted to just have somebody run through. And yes, I think we have done it. We've gotten that three stars. I know it was a little bit squishy in the front there. It didn't actually work out perfect for us, but hopefully you guys can do a little bit better than me and maybe uh, save those random lives like that random Pertheon with one health. Maybe get a little luckier with a crit hit or something like that. So as always, thanks for watching. Hopefully you guys can beat this pretty easily, and have a super duper delicious day.